uh, real quick. I'm just harping on my keto friends. <laughs> Uh, I was just thinking in general for like, I, for example, my my uh, Twitter account, like literally um, was not like supposed to be like a personal one. Like it was supposed to be for my business when I was UGR gaming and it was just like posting articles that I was doing and I kind of switched it over. And, and then I did see like, you know, the drop of people who were like, okay, you're posting about your life. Okay, I'm out of here. You're doing Twitch streaming. Like that's, I signed up for gaming news, not for, you know, all this other stuff. Yeah. I actually saw that happen. Yeah. Is that a fast transition? Like when you switched over to sharing your personal stuff or was that like, um, right? I, it was, it was like a weird decision. Cause I kind of stumbled into it because it wasn't ever supposed to be like, I'm a Twitch streamer as UGR gaming. I just had the account. I couldn't change the name at the time. <laughs> so, um, but like slowly I kind of started talking about my life. And then, especially when I got more serious about streaming, um, I incorporated like, life and, and talking more about it and the people who didn't want to be there for the life stuff were gone the people who wanted to hear about that stayed so mm -hmm. um it's been kind of a weird transition especially when i changed my name to as well i saw like another like people leaving and being like i don't know who this branded person is whole time but it was, it was a lot it was a lot of that and the same with tw uh, twitch like when i changed my name like definitely saw a drop in followers because like i would go live and people would be like who is this person i i don't remember following them i'm gonna click and follow um so it, it's definitely a thing you got to be very careful of uh but i mean it's definitely doable but especially if you're like at a big level where people will notice the change yeah it, it can be kind of scary yeah do you think it's something that you should go into and construct intentionally when you're starting is there do you think yes. that there's an appropriate amount of fluidity like you you yes. can't change I well I you can't well if you I mean, want, obviously you can since you since you yeah, did it yeah. right I, I, yeah exactly but I would I would go into like if someone was like not feeling right about their name in the beginning try to do it at the beginning because I would have like saved myself so much trouble um and the time I decided to change like to my name it was like when I was getting a new job and I wanted to be like be able to talk to people professionally be like hi my name is Brandon not like Hey, I'm UGR Gaming. Nice to meet you. And people are like, what is that? I don't understand. Explain it to me. Um, but the the sooner you do it, um, the easier it is. And to market yourself as like yourself or whatever name you want. Um, I just was never really happy with the name anyway. And it wasn't supposed to be me anyway. So, yeah. That's such a good point too. Yeah. Like the, the easier something is to pronounce or spell mm -hmm. or write out and the shorter it is, like the better you're going to be on social media in general, be it streaming yeah. or whatever. Like there's a reason why people are just going to like first names and getting like stuff like that. Like it's yeah. a really good move. Um, but also like I used to have a handle called Tatious, T-A-T-I-O-U-S, because it was a play on ostentatious. And I was like, ha it's like a joke. Um, no one knew how to say it. No one knew how to spell it. It was a whole thing. And so switching to Austin Marie before I started Twitch was like such a good thing. Cause I, I used to have it as like my old Twitter handle as well. And everyone's like, oh, Taddeus. And I'm like, no. <laughs> right. Like it was, it was, I already have enough issues with people spelling Austin wrong, but at least if they type in A-U-S-T-I-N Marie, they'll get to me, you know, yeah. but it was a whole mess. So like, absolutely rebranding is a great thing. And even if you are somewhat established, if you don't feel good, like Brandon says, rebranding can be really, really good. Yeah. Just don't do it too much. Be very thoughtful. Oh, yeah. of it. That's mm -hmm. the big one. I think like every, cause every time you make a change, be it a different time, be it changing your name, which is huge, changing your branding, you know, whatever, or like games you stream. If you only stream one, you are going to have a big drop off. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's just something that is going to happen regardless. You can't really hide from it. It's going to happen because people are going to not like the change and move on. However, you're going to like the change, hopefully, mm -hmm. if you yeah. thought it through. And you're going to bring in people that you like and your numbers are going to grow. And it's going to be better in the long run to take that hit than mm -hmm. to be like, oh, I don't want to change stuff because I'm afraid I'm going to lose, you know, this many people it's that, fine that, that's so true because like yeah. i i felt like i was able to market myself so much better because i was under my name and, and mm -hmm. they could talk that way so yeah. It, yeah it was so much better it was a good decision <laughs> a great decision after i was having a little bit of wine you know that night i figured it out so loco was, what do you yeah. think about having numbers in your name well um first of all <laughs> i just want to apologize for the audio issues i've been sitting here trying to troubleshoot them yes. blame windows 10 i'm like sorry for the crackling. Oh, um, we all had that problem this it's, week. Oh, it's it's I'm melting inside. But um, <laughs> <laughs> numbers in your name. I mean, it's like 
it's obviously not great, right? Like the simpler your name, the, the better always. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I used to have 2525 at the end of my name. My Twitter's still that way because, you know, somebody's squatting on Loco and not using the account. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Like squatters. <laughs> I know. I know. Um, but I mean, it, it, it depends. Like, you know, having like a single digit or double digit behind your name is okay. It's, it's, it's going to get harder and harder to shrink your name down. Like mm -hmm. as more people exist and have personas and usernames so but if you're yeah. like yeah if you're like hunter wild one three three seven or xxx swift nine seven like it, <laughs> it's just like like are you would you remember that if someone told you all those names like it's just like the, the more complicated it is the harder it is it's very it's yeah. very challenging because you've got you've got lead speak right you're replacing you know like three <laughs> fours and ones and l's and whatever that stuff is is certainly common enough in our industry because it's common in our culture, right? It's like it, it goes hand in hand yeah. with the uh, gaming stuff, and then that al always just bleeds in. Uh, now that Twitch is everything more than more than gaming. Yeah, um, I mean, at the same and, time and though, like consistency is very important too. So yeah, like, totally. you know, if you are you know C Norris, like try to get that name on all platforms, or like what you'll see, like, I think all of these guys have TV at the end of their Twitter handles. Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> not the actual ones. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, like, you know, that's, that's like, that's, you're not overcomplicating, but you're not, like, you know, Bob Hamburger on Twitch and then, like, Sniper Gal 27 on Twitter. Yeah. Like, you got to have as, as close as you can to consistency yeah. in your, yeah. in your yeah. brands. And don't be afraid to be, like, creative and stuff with your usernames as well. Like, like if you can't get the exact one there's something that is very similar that will be just good just don't rush it either like mm -hmm. if you can't figure it out it's fine like my my you friend today. yeah like my friend wanted his username to be one thing and we couldn't find any combination of words that worked with that thing but then we had the whole like soon tm joke going on mm -hmm. and i was like well you'll have it soon tm and i was like oh, what if you have your name and then tm at the end and he was like yeah all right i like that because it's just something <laughs> that's like silly it's, it's still playful. short yeah it's playful there's a story behind it you can tell it to people and it's not so complicated that if you tell it to someone they're like i don't know how to spell that yeah you know, you know i think that's a really good idea too because when you're introducing yourself to somebody uh in a physical space um you do get the brief moment to tell the story and that immediately becomes memorable yeah you know, like anytime that you can differentiate yourself in in a way that's not complicated and not like too farcical uh, but but that creates a memory attachment of that person to you, your identity and your name. Like that's a great that's a great thing to do because social media also yeah. always bleeds into the physical space when we're, you know, going to a convention or networking in some IRL thing that I never do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you will soon. We'll bring you back out. We'll yes. drag yeah. you back out. But like I mean, yeah, you're not gonna be like, yeah, so like the triple X before and afterwards exactly. like stands yeah. for like it like no one cares. Like yeah. you've already lost someone by then. It's dark like, fire, but the fire is like the PHYR. Yeah, if you have to give more than like one explanation, like mine's like I'm Austin Marie, but Austin spelt with an E N. Done. Easy, yeah. done. Mm -hmm. If you have to be like, but then also the A is really a V, and then this is really exactly. like, you don't if it goes want too far. That's problematic. Yeah, exactly. Um, I also realize that my uh, I'm very transparent right now because I'm wearing all green, <laughs> so I'm auto green screen. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I I, hold that. on, I can like fix I that. Have, I guys, have, I have, like, guys like, I normally don't have this many problems. Like <laughs> production. I look like, like a... I have oh, I mega mega um, yeah. headsets and chair, yeah. and it's fine. All right, it's I don't know what you're cool. talking about. It looks totally fine. It's been green the it, entire time. No one's noticed. I thought so. it was just. Like, <laughs> it, it, came back. it helps you stand out. It looks super cool. Cool. No, Zoom does it all the time. Like it's, yeah. it's, it loves doing it. But yeah, the more you have to explain stuff, the harder it is. And honestly, like short handles, I know they're hard to get, but man, they are they're nice. Yeah. Even yeah. like just be just be smart about it. And um, also, like I'm a little bit dyslexic, so like the shorter the names and the easier they are to read, mm, so good, so good. Like I'm gonna remember people with short names way easier yeah. than people with super super long names, unless they're right. like, ridiculous. But also, so, I think there was some, oh, there was some, so some brief, I wish I could remember them. That would have been great if I had done some research and thought this out. There were some basic rules that I would recommend Googling for how to construct your name in order to make it discoverable oh, when people yeah. are searching for you. Mm -hmm. I think like if people normally search for uh, trying, trying to find you there, they're looking for Loco, 
uh, if loco is like the third word in your name, like the further down it is, like the, the harder it is to find out of all the list of locos. If loco's first out of three, four words or whatever, it's gonna be the first thing that pops up when people are searching for you on Twitter, for instance. Um, I think there were some basic rules for that and it's probably important to know them and I don't. So mm. basically just make a username that's a combo of all our names. Yeah. You're welcome. Dumb. <laughs> done, I am done. Loco Wild Marie. Done. <laughs> we here. We made it. 